Welcome everyone, today we have a Dota Underlow game, and in this game you can see I made a mistake. I was talking a little too much before the recording, and I forgot to put a unit down. We drawed with another player that's trying for losing streak, which is actually terrible. Both of us lost value. I should put a down our unit, and just leave it on the first round. I didn't get a win, I didn't get a lose. That's not what I want to be. Hey there, Kinnis one, where's my tea? Uh, I... Oh, let me see what I want. Let's get the jam out. I have been staying with my friends in his new house and I've been staying upstairs in a room so we agreed to not have like beverages and food in upstairs so I haven't had tea upstairs and because of that I've been drinking lots of water it's not as good as the tea though I have to say I should make some after the stream I get some ginger in and try to brew myself a home remedy what do I go for though Let's get into some trouble. so I guess we can try for three-star waiver I really want to try for some good 3 stars. <laughs> I'm on 0. Damn. So sad. Okay, we lost it. So... Now the build hasn't been decided. I'm not really going for mages. If I go for summons, it's going to be primordial summons. If I go for knights, it's going to be 3 star barrel and knights. Try your mage primordial. It's really OP. I like, hope you like it. It's a powerful one. Because you also get the... Early mid game with primordials and late game with warlocks. It's actually really good. Shadow Sh Shadow Fin boosts the damage for the mages AOE, and the disruptor just gives you upper hand. Very powerful. And it's actually very effective because mages do have a really good burst damage for warlocks. I don't think I go for the brownies. We'll try that in the rank game for the hyper brownies. I don't think I go for the waiver too. Okay, let's sell out a few things. Let's go with Primordials, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Primordials Bat Rider? <laughs> it has to be a mage, right? I didn't need to sell the Luna, I just realized. I could sell those too. <laughs> Knight's 3 star Bat Rider? Oh, I sold the Luna though. Ah, uh, I sold the Luna. Should I kept it, right? Just out Nunes, okay. Oof, I lost twice, I lost 8 HP. That's a lot of loss. <laughs> you should lose 3 HP here. What am I looking for? Oof. Three star waiver is not needed. All three of those are not needed. Three star barrier that with pan modules. It could work. But it's gonna be a far fetch. Because Troller will be the best bet with Shadow Shaman. Let's get the Shadow Shaman for summons. Ah, well that's not a Primordial. Yeah, Knights are gone. Uh, I don't want to get them down too quickly. Summon, summons. So we got the... We got the Magnets here. Hey there, Jeff. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Why Knights with Primordials? <laughs> so the fact is, we want to try the 3-star newly buffed units. We got the 3-star Shadow Shaman last time, want to see how many other 3-stars we can get. The newly buffed ones. So here we're going to try the 3-star Primordial Summoners. We're going to go for the 3-star Enigma. But during this time we were kind of contemplating if we want to go for the 3-star Bear Rider, so I kept him. It's not really working though. <coughs> I should get some units done. Ah, only a losing streak. It's gonna be difficult. Oh, interesting. This might be really good for us. Let's take it. It's a fact we might get a lot of kills on the units we have, and we do need some tanks. Or by the Shadow Shaman or by the Fear. So is there another deal mage deal with the the mana break? Oh you mean wave a three star, right? This is not ranked, my friend. It's a catch again. We're testing all the new 3 stars if we can. So, Waver 3 star will give you mana break. And that's not with Diffuser, yes. But it's going to be hard to get him to 3 star, though. Oh, I rolled, by the way. So, you didn't see it. I did press the free roll. I'm going to go for IO because IO is also a Primordial. Primordial Druids. Do we get anything killed? No, we don't. We're just fading them. Damn. We're fading them big time. It's two fun builds, then we'll go for the run games. 
I am used to be a uh, mana bomb, yes. Anti mage. Creating an enigma, and the last primordial is going to be Arc Warden. Perfect. We'll do the tiny very soon. Don't need any of that. Don't need that as well. Damn. Hey there, Moni. Ramol Romolus. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Yeah, me, my bad with pronunciation. Uh, nothing too special. Magnus is kind of just here because we have enough druids. Likely we want a train protector, but Magnus give us savage. So I think Magnus is better. Shadow Shaman is like bad rider friend because we can get them in, but it's gonna be a hard fetch as well. Oh, does he have overcap? Get more kills! <laughs> get more kills, people. One zap can kill a lot. Can he get the one zap off? One zap time! Yes, we got the one zap. We killed two. Yes! <laughs> It's gonna be a Palmaudio Summoner here. Well, I can sell the Barrow because I don't think I got the 3 star Barrow. I'm thinking of using the Razor here, but it might not be the best idea. If we get enough kill on Razor, he might be useful. Play 2 Druids and Razor. It could work. But the goal is to lose here, remember? The goal is to get the losing streak. I can win, of course, but my goal is to not win at this stage. I want to lose. I want to lose at least a few more rounds. That's actually not bad. Everything I'm looking for. But it's not the best, because, well, you see. Uh, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, five matches. <laughs> not bad. I got a barrel or two. One toss. Oh, it's a brownie player. Oh no, that's scary. Ah, Razor's too slow. Oh, we're gonna feed them. Oh, we feed them so much. <laughs> we fed them so much, guys. <laughs> too much feed. I want to see 3 star Barrow Rider. But I know it's gonna be very far. Need a different pan module. Either Arc Warden, Enigma. Let's go, game. Ask and you receive. Arc Warden! Yay! <coughs> uh, I don't need Venom. Uh, the Barret is gone, guys. <laughs> Barret is nice, but it's not really <laughs> cut to the cut to the chase here, because well, we can't really afford to get a better rating for now, unless it's a three star, <laughs> and that's not happening anytime soon, right? Oh, look at that! It's a Hogan balloon. So. The Razor is actually really powerful simply because the freaking casting and the damage he does. We don't have Majors though, so not as high. How many teams to cast twice? He should cast twice here. Yeah. With Io, the Palmodis are pretty good. Oh damn, that starter looks angry. He's buffed by Ogre too. Quicker one? I might actually win here. <laughs> the Palmodis are ridiculously strong. 100 damage and just great overall. Great armor, 8 armor, people just can't kill Primordials. I actually won here. <laughs> I didn't expect it. The moment I got 4 Primordials, we got really powerful. Too powerful, actually. Because I win, I'm gonna go step these things up. I'm gonna pre level. Take it to the next step, we say. Uh, Crystalis is actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll take the Crystalis. Actually, Blink Arc Warden. I'll take the Crystalis. <laughs> I know I need to blink, right? Nothing special, so Shadow Shaman will be the best bet. Shadow Shaman and Arc Warden. Arc Warden actually does not have enough HP base. I think Shadow Shaman with enough HP base. Shadow Shaman doesn't have the attack speed though. Hmm. It's gonna be an interesting one. Let's see. Why did I level up? Is once I win and once I break my streak, I want a win streak now. I don't want a losing streak. I want to see if I can get a quick win streak. Tiny tosses the legion so she can't do us. She still do that though. The Io is still dead. Io is still dead. Oh, Primordial War. I have a bigger Primordial body. And because I have summons, we do 120 damage. It's actually incredible. <laughs> no joke here. Very, very powerful. All the little dudes are hitting very hard. Look at that. Little dude army fight. Oh, can he survive? He served. No, he did not survive. <laughs> he tried. 
This gives us the long trade rate at the 5% purple rate. Summons. As with summons, I usually go with Ender 6 because it gives us a little more summon. But here we don't get that, so I'm going to pick the troop. So she's not summoning a golem, she just enthralls you. I don't think that counts as a summon. And because of that, we're just going to chill. Or we'll get the Lycan. Having the Drew means we get a little tank for the team. And although we get lots of Palmarios, they're more for damage. Hey there, Kanai. Welcome, well, buddy. Good to see you as well. I don't think we're getting a 3 star barrel out of that. It's also got a Drew. It's offensive too. Oh, this is not good. Can we stop him, guys? Stop him. The stun was good. We kill him? Yes, we got him. Good. He's the only one we can't deal with, because he can just mop up stuff like Whipper Sniper. Now that we deal with enemy, my drinking tank and everyone else can do their thing. Perfect. Power does a lot of damage. I remember the the three alliance for Palmario was to be incredible. <laughs> you can't really beat it unless you have a healing team. And most people are not going for healing in this game. Yeah, no many warlocks and no many healers. Hmm. Can't find Enigma though. Me want the Enigma. Oh yeah, I should have leveled up. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Level up. Magnus will give us the druids. So now all of a sudden we get a magging, we get more tank, we get a little more. Tani doesn't need the armor. He's gonna die fast, but it's okay. <laughs> His purpose is to die to become stronger. Makes Magnus a little tankier. I feel like it's a good counter to Drew. Can we get a toss still? We do, perfect. Ultra tank Drew is ready. <laughs> Yeah, Aquadon takes a bit of damage, and he does his thing, it's really good. Very powerful. I was linked to Shadow Shaman and Razor here. Looking for level 8, because level 8 we can have the best rates for Dondrid. And nothing too special on level 8, other than we can get a troll wall for the team as well. We want the Aquadon. Yes. Hey there, Kia. Recently I played 4 Warlocks and 4 Healers, 3 Warriors and Chores. It's fun, fun too. Sounds really good. I think the Knights and the the Warriors really do work well with Warlocks and Healers. And this will consolidate you for the mid game. Because people don't do enough damage to outburst the Healers and Warlocks. Even in late games, if you make it work with 3 stars, it's very powerful. Ooh, blink. Oh no. Oh, good stun. I couldn't summon one perfect. He broke one, yeah, he broke one of my Arc Warden, so we only got one summon. This one's buffed with 80 damage because of Magnus. <laughs> Pretty powerful. Oof, look at the damage. Let's pre level again. Try to pre level if you can. If you know next level, you make it to level. So it's on the 4 intervals and 5 intervals, that's why I level. That's the best way to do it. How much do you care about Savage in this build? They're decent, but not that much that I have to get them. Oh, this is interesting. Any majors? No majors. If they're no majors, I'm happy to go with Hand of Mitres. Hmm, who's to take it? I think Longju can take it. Apparently, can take it. Why Hand of Mitres is that now if we get some kills, we actually profit a lot from the additional kills. Uh, I want Enigma, not Morphling, because we don't need another AoE damage. Razor is just doing wonderful with that. You kind of give Midas to someone else. I don't think Fearing is getting a lot of kills here. Looking for the long journey. So that's one we want to go to level 8. The Burst of Back has to die. He is the counter to all the summon units. He does a lot of good AoE. Bob says, when others take Io, I will bring back strong ones. When I pick Io, he brings back 3 stars. I know. 2 3 3, right? <laughs> Io always trolls me as well. <laughs> when others take Io, he takes back like Laundred, Axe, like. Takes back the frontline tide. When I take Io, he always bring back a one star too. I know that feeling. I was like, Io, dude, you have one job. He's like, what? I'm a disco ball. Then he starts to spin. Now, 
This is another druid. We can use that. It's just like offset to having not enough druids. The best one is long druid, you can see. Long druid will give us two alliances. Very powerful. Morphling better than tank tiny. Tiny is slightly better just for the stun. Morphling will morph away. We want him to be in the front line, stun, and die. My goal is to level up to 8 here. We'll get the four savages in, but it's not a must have because the last savage will ideally be my sentinel, which will find a level 8. So level 8 is going to be a must have fast. Oh gosh, he did so much damage there. My Drew didn't even get to cast his spells. <laughs> How did that work? No, don't kill us. Don't kill us. Oh, we're going to lose here, aren't we? Yeah, we lost. He have savage and summoners, I believe. No, he doesn't have savage, he just have summoners. Just a little more summoning us. Uh, <laughs> Overwhelmed us. <laughs> it's a Kaya Veno. So cute. Oh gosh. <laughs> he summoned so much more. <laughs> when you lose against the summoners war, he's actually pretty fine. Yeah, we don't have a lot of summoners. Yeah, I'm a little short. It's okay, lost. I just didn't get my win streak. Oof, if those were long druid. <laughs> if only, guys. Don't need those. I haven't seen one Enigma yet. <laughs> and here one, the three star Enigma. We're not gonna get the Bear Riders, by the way. I'm not gonna get that to three star. Nothing too special. Our corner is gonna be hooked if there's a punch, which is fine. I'll get the train protector in once we get out of eight, which we should here. So, round 15, level eight is actually pretty good. This Razor's positioning is a little too forward. He's dying before he gets the second cast. So small things we can adjust. Speaking of Io, I found out that Blood Bond that died has brought back with Io counters under, under Blood Bond. That's right. Yes, I've tried that before. It's really powerful. Especially when you have Io that brings back your sacrificed Warlock of the Blood Seeker that dies too fast. Also, you have Inthor for N6 that brings enemies into your team. It gives you tons of Blood Bond. But it's a very rare circumstance to start. We can't consistently make that. If we get a laundry here, it'd be so good. Come on, no sinking. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. That's where my other side is. <laughs> I'll take the sinking, guys. I'll do it this way. Now notice this way, the small balanced on this side, the tiny just to be sacrificed, and June tanks for us. We are missing a lot of good things, which we'll get it. Lycan though, how do we fit Lycan? Ah, uh, I want the type 2. And the end of last game, it did really well. James not fun, my friend. <laughs> well, I come back. So what we did was we got the 3-star Shadow Shaman. <laughs> and we got pretty much everything we wanted. At least for that game. So we got to the Alliance combos. We got the 3-star Shadow Shaman that chicken and hexed and circled war trapped the unit. So this is a pretty fun one. So this is the player I lost to earlier, right? I might be able to win here. Got my Druids, he's got my Magnus. I brought my Magnus back too. But it's a Demon Magnus though, it's a very scary one. Look at that. That's how I lost last time from Demon Magnus. <laughs> the Demon Magnus is no joke. <laughs> he buffs, then he gets more damage because he's a demon. <laughs> we lost again because <laughs> he keeps getting Demon Magnus. Oh my. Yeah, it's the NSX player. It's this one. Damn, it's so powerful. Sound to treat that Magnus. <laughs> we could do that. Uh, Octoring, Octoring. You know what? I want to try Octoring. I am going to try Octoring. <laughs> Octoring Virion. I need a lot of truth. Ah, perfect. That's exactly what I needed and what I wanted. Uh, I want an IO2. Five summon build, I know. So many summoners. <laughs> Three star sinking? Oh, that's gonna be a hard one. I'll buy the IO2. Now we try to get all the druids to two star, so we get the three star fear in two. Baby Tiny is an enigma. Why well, want an enigma? <laughs> so I've been rolling another eight for a while time. Yeah, 444 build, right? You've seen that before, it's very good. Razor, do your thing, buddy. <laughs> Razor's doing pretty decent damage, especially against the enemy summons, too. 
Do I get the raisin? No, I got the tiny. This is what happens. My I always revive the tiny. <laughs> well, enemy survives the correct unit. Damn, an enemy summons. So powerful. What does he have? He's got the two star laundry, that's why. He's got the summons. He's going a 444 build as well. Same as me. But he's got more units than me. I should roll deep soon. I should get the savages in. Five summoning units is actually fine. Not bad. Oof. I kind of want a tiny, but. You know what? I'll start the magnets here. Let's roll it a deeper. Oh, Enigma. Ah, bring. Where you at? <laughs> I saw the Enigma, but I didn't kick him. Damn, that's a mistake. <laughs> mistake were made. <laughs> I should have buy the Enigma and swap out the tinies. I kind of want to get the troll out in. Yeah, it's a troll. Yeah, that's why I stopped. I want to get the troll in. I think that'll be a boost for, to the team as well for the two trolls. Won't be a lot, but something. Oh, he's got a three star Magnus. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's, he's from the Druids. That's why he's got a three star Magnus. Not bad. Let's get the troll in. How do I fit the troll order? Hmm. I need to level up to fit the troll. I think the only thing I can get to 3 star here is going to be Furion with the Druids. So I was thinking, uh, we'll keep the thinking. Well, let's see. Hmm. 35. I can sell enough to level up actually. I don't want to lose this star. Let's lose those two. Which one? Sure for this one. I want to get the Sanking and Liking in. To get to that, we need level 10. On level 9, we can use the Troll Warlord. Let's do that. It's a very contested one because you can see there's like four summoner players. <laughs> Talek calling your third time. I know, I used Thai last time, but this time I didn't use Thai. He keeps coming back. My Palmonis are falling off a little bit too. <laughs> Getting iOS 3 stars is not a good idea though. I wish I would get a little more usefulness. Oh, the Savage launcher's doing some damage. I want an Enigma. <laughs> I need an Enigma. Why not switch the build to the Tide and Troll? Because the theme of the game is to get Primordial Summons. It's a 4-4-4 theme. So... Here we're not going with what's the strongest, but what we're, we have a build we want to focus on. It's like forcing a build. You don't want to do that in ranked games, but in casual games, you can kind of force like a path you want to take. The path you want to take here is going to be the 4-4-4, and you know, 4 Druids, 4 Palmodios, 4 Savage, and 4 Summoners, and plus the Troll. I don't know if I can do that though. <laughs> Probably can't fit everyone. Could have up here. Honey, and he throws the dream. That's not bad. Oh, this plastic is gonna be really bad. But <laughs> got a four star. Oh, that's rude. That is good. Can we take the plastic, guys? Oi, we wish you do it. It's enough of us. Is it? I don't know. Yes, there's enough of us. Perfect. What did you level up to get a troll in? <laughs> we got the dream. This bear is so good. Super rude. Attack speed will benefit the whole team. And also troll others, decent damage. Let's get a good item. Venomir will do. Don't need those. Oof, not great. Here we'll just take the attack speed. So both of those are gonna be my kill units. We just got 14 kills, not a lot. Very unfortunate. Hey, another troll. Hey hey. I'm sitting on one star arc, but no, that's really annoying and strange. It's because if you notice the arc wardens, there's a lot of people taking more arc wardens. After patch, how to get units we want to force a build? Yes. To make it interesting, you have to be flexible and adjust to it. One star tiny too. Damn. <laughs> it's a hard one. We will be relentless. relentless. 
I don't want to lose anymore. So I've been spending a little more deep. <laughs> Baby tiny, tried so hard. It's got a mana burn. I can see it. Someone's burning my mana on the Razor. It's likely the unit of Magnus had a mana burn. Razor was not casting. This is the summoning player and we're doing okay. Where's my troll out though? It's over here. I get the warrior scene with the tiny and troll out, but we're not need for that. Troll plus IO GG, yeah, what a good combo, right? IO and troll combo. We can get those two together. Don't just throw water fury. Attack speed helps quite a bit. We should start rolling. Uh, do we start rolling? We can chill a little bit more, right? Yeah, Longer is gonna buff either the troll or the back the Longer here. Hmm, that's good. Nothing too special. Let's roll a little bit. Good, good, good. So what did I roll is I can see everyone's pretty low on HP, and if I get greedy and other people goes aggressive, I will be punished. I goes left and right. If focus on left and right first, depends if you are defending or you're attacking. But never mind, they went to the back for some reason. Here I'm defending, he went to the shadow shaman. That's not what I was expecting by the way. I thought it goes left and right. It's a strange one. <laughs> and the refresher on the necrophos, so cute. <laughs> now I only links a tiny. Get the Lycan. <laughs> Empower on the bear is so good, right? Once I took Jorono, he takes it. I didn't get two star until round 25. Oh, that's a harsh one. I just want Ivo to link those two, not the Shadow Shaman. <laughs> Shadow Shaman's good, but not that good. What might roll a little more? Because look at all the units we have. That's not funny, a friend. That, that found a friend. <laughs> that found a big friend. <laughs> Tiny I can replace with the Lycan Senken? Yeah, let's do that. I think we'll have enough time with Palmodios already. Had enough time with him. We can try that. So we're still retaining the... We are still retaining the summons, but we got the Savages this time. Over the Palmodios. Hey, we got the Chonwala! Look at him go! Look at the attack speed! And Tiny and Icon were one star, they're too weak. Much better with the Sand King and Icon. <laughs> Troll is gonna be incredible with Io. So, this is definitely a small adjustment to the 444. Primordial has served us really well there. Five players are left, and three star Venom. Ooh, that's an upgraded Venom too, if you look at it. The Venom Mesa has. Resistance, mana resistance on the wards, and also it's got 3 second cooldown on the wards. Very good. Ah, tiny game. <laughs> Don't even need the tiny. I never found one. I found one enigma. I missed him. Uh, brutes are not bad. People usually underestimate how good the brutes are. They're actually not bad. Very powerful if you face a melee team. Except the brownies. Granny is like a melee mage team because they can focus on AoE damage. Oh my! <laughs> Assassins! As long as the Troll Warlock is hooked, <laughs> we should have a really good time. It's getting killed by the enemy though. Io died. I uh, should be okay. I'm keeping the Razor just for the AoE because we do lack AoEs. We have Focus Fire with Troll Warlock, lots of summons, no have AoE. Not bad. Yeah, it's a little too late to get all the Primordials in to be effective. This so snap is better than one's 3 star. I agree, but the downside with Snapfire is that sometimes you just don't have the slots for them. Sometimes they also over burn a unit. Two of them might focus on one. <laughs> oh, Vedemir, perfect. Love that. Well, my favorite. I can take it. Mm, I want one of my units to be in the center. Doesn't really work, right? <laughs> That's fine, let's do that. So, let's roll a little bit. Ah, uh, razor's too late. <laughs> Sold out my razors. Don't need that laundry. I'm not gonna find anything else, am I? Now? 
Oof. Oh, I found these a few in. Damn. The game's hard. I want to find the light again. And I should be leveling up for one more unit. Three second Venom oh, with Octarine is like Summoner Tinker. It's close, but the Venom doesn't get mana that quickly, you see. It's a great idea to have the cooldown, but it just doesn't get the mana. Ayo, you licked the wrong person. Chowala needs to be your friend. How did Ayo lose so much HP? <laughs> Magnus actually did the most damage. He cleaved them. Switch time. Prophet and Shaman? Yes. I was trying to get a 3 star Prophet going. Let's try a little more with that. It's definitely worth it more to give it to Shadow Shaman with 20 seconds. He's got 4 point. So better than Shadow Shaman to be more effective. I just want to see a 3 star. Uh, Razor with an attack range. You see, the attack range is not the issue. It's just that it clears up the unit in the early game. Right now, it's more to the mid to late game. Razor just doesn't do enough. <laughs> it's the best we can get for now. And I should have up, but I want to roll as well. I can easily adjust again. I can remove the Razor, put the Tiny in, and also get a warrior like Tight Hunter. Now be the final adjustment. Let's see, if I win or lose, I, I use that as adjustment. I don't roll anymore. It's rank, replace, yeah, replace Razor and Tide. And yeah, replace Razor for Tiny and Tide. That's right, Dangerous. Exactly what I'm thinking. No 3 star Fury again. I want the 3 star Fury game. <laughs> Where are my Furians? Sekin's doing a wonderful job there. Stunning everyone. Also, if you notice, I've been making lots of money with my Mitis. I'm sure most of us haven't noticed, we actually make a lot more money than usual. The economy is very high as well. I'll show you the start of the round. You can see this item from gold. That's how we make extra gold from money. No, extra gold from items. Okay, last fight. We'll get one extra warrior. I'll show you guys the final changes soon. Yeah, one for items. Perfect, we got the tide. Ah, I can't have up though. Should I forcefully lose to him once? <laughs> Let's lose to him once. I can lose to him. Yeah, I'll take the lightning back. Should be able to lose him. I should be able to lose to him if I take the Magnus back. I want to lose to him once. So I can show you guys a full build. If he loses to me with a Magnus, well, nothing I can do, right? <laughs> it's a strange comp here. The demon summoner, not the demon summoner. It's like a, it's a very strange comp. <laughs> a warlock assassin comp. Yeah, we're gonna put level here. That's right. Yeah, Magnus was the pivotal point for two things. So it's okay we lose him. A yeah, level to then. Not a big factor though, because the leveling was just given under, under the first spot. The rate for Tide Hunter is gonna stay the same. This is our final setup. I am done my and let's see what we can find. Actually, yeah, we do want the Sand King, so that kind of helps. Perfect. <laughs> and there's a troll warlock. Perfect. Let's see if I can get a Sand King. Oh. Very game. How quickly. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be the final setup, guys. And this is going to be very powerful. The 4-4-4 turns into 3 fours, and we'll get the Warriors to tank. Having the Tide is going to be very powerful. So, Virus game, uh, we we'll go for a few ranked. If we do well in ranked, we'll go for Virus game. If we don't do too well in ranked, we'll just keep grinding with the rank today. How about that? Oof. Advantage with a 2 such hole is so high, though. Yeah. He's a physical team, and the Warrior just counter him so well. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, did it? It's still very hard to find 3 stars with the upgraded units. You know, like Venomancer, uh, Bat Rider, Ogre Major, but the concept kind of works here. I could have went for the 3 star Shadow Shaman and Furion, which I am going for the 3 star Furion. I was 3 Furion short. I leveled quite quickly because I want to balance the team. 444 was very powerful until level round 20, but later Pymodos do fall off. I want to go for 3 star Enigma, that's the plan. Well, I only got one Enigma, and I missed it. In the end, I kept the Tiny's and we transitioned into a Warrior team. And this is actually a legit ranked team if you want to try it. So start up with Primordials, then go with a bit of Druids, go with a bit of Savages, depending what Druids you get. 
and then get the summoners. You can pick the N6 with summoned, so with a golem, or you can pick the tomb that's offensive. That both are really good. Lastly, you can go for the trolls with Trollvalod, and you get the warriors with Tide. Very powerful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I think the biggest highlight to take away from this one is a small traditional factor. You can see a lot of people were picking the same units and they were much ahead of us in terms of economy and HP. But the late game choices we had, Troll Warlord, you know, Vladimir, Tide Hunter really helped us late game and also Sanky.